Hello and welcome to Qatar 365, the show that offers a fresh perspective on Doha and the local areas with me, Miranda Assi. It's all about fashion on this episode as we explore some of the most exciting new talent in the region. Coming up, we visit Qatar's first fashion school, check out a design hub in the heart of Doha and explore the talented collections of the next generation. Qatar is increasingly becoming known as a hub for creatives, blending Arabic history with cutting edge modern design. And one of the key centers of innovation is VCU Arts Qatar. The fashion program helps budding designers from conception to final projects. And some of their recent collections are jaw-dropping. My concept, it's called Ana Ahli Wa Ahli Ana. It's in Arabic, which basically means I'm my family and my family is me. We slowly take their traits and then we get to decide what to keep and what to remove. And then that's when we become whole, that's when we become ourselves. Ayatala Mohammed is part of a talented batch of fashion graduates this year who showcased their designs in a catwalk show titled It's History, Non-Repeating. It's like a merge between two, the very loud person, which is my mom, and my dad, which is very calm and old. It's like an old soul mixed together. So this was a fusion between both of them. The seniors were given the theme of nostalgia to inspire their work. As a result, each collection feels intensely personal, with elements of their heritage, families and memories clearly influencing each piece. My collection is called Swing Motion. It's about my personal conflict of swinging back and forth between my Pakistani roots and my life here growing up in Doha. And I'm trying to kind of bridge the gap between the two countries and the cultures. I also took references from my Pakistani heritage and I combined that with modern embroidery and tailoring techniques, kind of creating a dynamic that preserves the past while also discovering possibilities of what lies ahead. VCU Arts Qatar is the oldest fashion and design university in the country. Christopher Fink leads the team of professors, all of whom have worked for international fashion houses. We work with our students to find their inner voice, to understand the importance of their opinion, their vision, and as well as how to translate that into a garment, into a collection. So the, the journey of a fashion designer is really to be the voice of their generation. The graduates are also getting ready to take their next steps away from the safety of the university. You have to think of fashion right now as an ecosystem. And VCU is very much a big part of that fashion ecosystem. We're at the beginning stage. So this is where the seeds get planted. They come here to really learn how to build a collection, how to construct a garment, which, which what you learn here, you remember the rest of your life. You can really see these skills and the attention to detail in each design. The number one technique that I did take away that I started realizing that I keep incorporating in my designs is really trying not to waste a lot of fabric. So I'm trying to make a zero waste kind of collection, almost as sustainable as possible. And I think I had the chance and the opportunity to communicate with my professors as well and how to do that as best way as possible and make it look as couture as possible as well. And while some of the graduates are choosing to travel, most of the class of 2022 hope to start their own lines right here in Doha. This is M7, a series of studios, co-working spaces and incubation programs designed to nurture new and emerging designers. It's a vital step in Qatar's goal of becoming a knowledge-based economy. And M7's director, Maha al Sileti took me on a tour of the premises to explore the spaces and opportunities available to new talent. We partner with different entities that can provide something really unique to the creative ecosystem. One of them is the concept store, Studio 7. It's a really unique space, one of a kind in, in Qatar. So it's regional as well as local designers and to share the, the, the story or the narrative behind the products. 
What are some of the new kind of exhibitions or new programs that are happening at the moment? We recently had Kristen Dewart, designer of Dreams exhibition. We had the Zwada program, which uh, we had seven designers. Um, we took them to, you know, a tour at uh, Dior, and they create, uh, you know, pieces that are inspired by Dior and inspired by the culture in kind of their own on that. And we're going to go see some of the other spaces in, in a minute. But before we do, how do you think that all the different spaces here at M7 combine to create a real kind of design hub? So we, we look at it as kind of building a, a mini ecosystem. We want uh, designers in different um, parts of their journey to find something that can kind of help them. So uh, whether they're just a hobbyist or a very well established designer, we try to provide this you know, ecosystem and resources for them uh, to, to scale up. And this provides you know, a space that is conducive to you know, collaboration, innovation and creativity. This is the cutting studio. Tell us what happens here. So the cutting studio is a small manufacturing production service provider. So they help them launch uh, their, their collections um, that are made in Qatar. They provide consultations uh, to, uh, to established or uh, emerging designers, um, you know, help them basically uh, bring the collections to life. Um, and ensure that it's also uh, commercial. They also do, uh, they have workshops, as you can see, they have you know, really great facilities and machines. And so it's really to create um, a very comfortable um, uh, environment for, for designers. So Maha, we've come up to Scale 7, which is a fashion and design business incubator. Tell us a little bit more about it. Scale 7 is um, one of Qatar Development Bank's uh, incubators uh, in partnership with M7, uh, focus on uh, fashion and design. So uh, they have a pre-incubation program that focuses on more um, uh, up-and-coming designers um, and then all the way up to accelerator program for more well-established um, designers and they provide space for them as well as mentorship programs. Luan Design Studios and Labs Internships is part of Qatar's Museums Initiative. This former all-girls school is now a setting where fashion innovators can meet to create exciting new projects. Shahrazad Ghaffour found out more. A hub for the country's future designers with studios overlooking the courtyard as classrooms did in the past. We house uh, Qatar Museum projects that have to do with design and we connect the projects to the designers that are here. Anyone who's interested in design, interested in art, interested in uh, being in a place where you're surrounded by creativity and creation, this is the right space for you. This is how it's built and this is um, the idea behind it. It is proving to be the ideal place for growth and collaboration regardless of background, culture or mediums. The stuff you see here, the bag, the belt, the laptop bag are actually our first product. During COVID, Isa Ali Al-Jaham and his cousin decided to turn their hobby into a business. Using vegetable tan leather to make products by hand, now they have a workshop here. I follow four rules basically is to stick to the traditions and the ancient techniques of leather crafts to get the best leather I can get my hands on. I sourced leather from all around the world and we try as well to, to source leather ethically. Um, so our leather is eco-friendly, let's say, to the environment. It doesn't have harsh chemicals on it and it's biodegradable. It doesn't stick in the planet for long times of periods. So we just try as much as possible from the start until the finish to be uh, as best to the environment and as best to the consumer as well, and as best to our workers. Being kind to the planet and culturally aware are major goals at Liwan. I'm a fashion designer. I'm the creative director of Roni Halo, which is a brand, it's a conscious ready-to-wear brand, luxury ready-to-wear brand based between Beirut and Doha. We create uh, cool, modern clothes for men and women with um, emphasis on 
uh, our values, which are sustainability, human rights, and animal rights. So we try as much as possible to portray uh, and reflect our values in everything we do, from sampling to production, and literally everything in between. This was once the library of the school, with books dating back to 1956. It now serves to spark the imagination of the designers, from traditional fairy tales to Arabic calligraphy and even music. It's meant to inspire the flow and color of the creations. We basically use uh, screen printing, block printing, and we really enjoy bringing the designs that we make into t-shirts and tote bags that people can use on a daily basis. So with my personal work, I'm really inspired by the unique shapes and forms that you can find in nature, and I like to merge Arabic typography and illustration, and I think doing that as my personal work and being a member of Type Arabi really helped us introduce this opportunity to people to approach type design and Arabic typography in general in a more creative and experimental way and not necessarily in a traditional way. Creative Sayli One is perfect to exchange knowledge for fashion designers, but also architects, graphic designers and more, all finding inspiration from their surroundings and each other. Plenty of new fashionable talent right here in Doha. And that's all we've got time for on this episode. But if you have any questions, just reach out via our hashtag Qatar365. Thanks for watching. Do check out Euronews.com for more. And join us again next time on Qatar365.